What's up, guys? It's your boy Matt Pack420 here coming in with the new one. And today, oh, we were talking about this funny, duddy old man, Neil Young. Uh, now, at one point in time, Neil Young had things to say that were poignant and would make you think. Actually, no, he's always been a left hard loser that has always spouted left toyed nonsense for his entire career. That's the problem with all these activists, musicians. And all activists are just closet racists that are, you know, have guilty consciences. Take Bona, for example. The guy gives all these charities and spouts all these activism causes, climate change, all this horse shit. But in actuality, he is literally the world's biggest shit. My little crap has accomplished many things, but he could never shed the fact that he was really a number two. So he spent his life trying to be number one in everything. That's why he's able to do so much, try to help so many people, but still seem like such a piece of shit. Neil Young, on the other hand, hasn't done or said anything relevant for <laughs> since the 90s. What's crazy about these people is they think that they are more important and they have a higher reach than they actually have. Now look, I'd be very oblivious if I didn't mention that Neil Young has had several hits, okay? And he did speak to a generation, okay? But those days are long gone long gone and the shit he's spouting out now is just boomer bullshit that my generation is fucking tired of neil young wants his music scrubbed from spotify because of vaccine misinformation on the platform neil young an outspoken advocate for covid19 safety and prevention doesn't want his music to be sh to share a home with vaccine misinformation and a now deleted post on his website. Well, of course it's deleted because, duh, he's a coward. Young asked his manager and record label to remove his music from Spotify because he said the music and podcast platform is spreading fake information about vaccines, potentially causing death to those who believe in disinformation spread by them. That's funny how he wrote a letter to his management and his record label, okay, to asking them to take it down. See, here's the thing about these people. These, uh old fuddy-duddy rock stars, right, or any of these people. See, they sold their music a long time ago. And see, they're still selling. I believe, I can't remember who recently just sold their catalog for $300 million. But these rock stars are getting old and aging, and they know their people want to commercialize their music, so they just fucking sell their catalogs off. They're the lucky ones to even own their catalogs. There are people that don't even own a single fucking song, even though they slave away all day, every day, making music for these fucking corporations. But Neil Young doesn't actually have any power, okay? Either he never had the rights to his music to begin with, or two, he sold them off a long time ago, and they're stuck, and they're gonna stay on Spotify, and you can sit and fucking spin, old man. I wanna let Spotify know immediately, today, that I want all my music off their platform. The 76-year-old said on Monday Post, according to Rolling Stone, they can have Rogan or Young, but not both. <laughs> That's an easy choice. Like I said, these people think that they are more important than they actually are. Look, the average age of the Joe Rogan podcast listener is anywhere from 18 to like 45. The average listening age for a person listening to Neil Young on Spotify is either 75 or dead. Rogan refers to Joe Rogan, the exceedingly controversial podcaster who has made frequent false and inaccurate claims surrounding vaccine and COVID-19. See, that's why I hate these people, dude. They're fucking lying about Joe Rogan and their fucking article drives me nuts. If you actually watch the goddamn podcasts, okay, these are discussions, okay? He doesn't advocate one thing or another for a lot of this shit. These are discussions. He has Dr. Malone on there, the guy who invented the mRNA vaccines. For 30 minutes, they wax poetic on how vaccines have been a fantastic, you know, tool for humankind and has eradicated diseases and so on and so forth. And they're right. Vaccines have done that, okay? But then they also go on to criticize Big Pharma and how they medicate everything, okay? Does the opioid crisis ring a bell, okay? How we over-medicated a generation, how penicillin is ineffective against certain types of diseases now because we over-medicated everything. Uh, oh, he's got a cold, give him penicillin. Oh, he's got a strep throat, give him penicillin. Oh, he's got an itchy skin, give him penicillin. Literally, I remember getting penicillin all the time for just about every ailment growing up as a kid. 
and lo and behold, we got strep throat that is penicillin resilient. <laughs> you just gotta sleep through it. It sucks. It happens. Okay, that's that's science. No, that's conspiracy theorists nonsense. Earlier this month, a group of 250 scientists, doctors, and nurses penned an open letter to Spotify. Yeah, and if you actually research these people, they're all lobbyists, former medical aides, and former people that are now advocating for all kinds of bullshit. They're lobbyists, okay? They're government tools. So all these 250 scientists are not even legit people. The Joe Rogan Experience was Spotify's most popular podcast globally in 2021, according to Variety. It became a Spotify exclusive in 2020 when Rogan signed a multi-year exclusive licensing deal with the streaming service thought to be worth more than $100 million, the Wall Street Journal reported at the time. CNN was, has reached to Young's management, has publicist, a Warner on Spotify for comment. Frank Garanda, Young's manager, did not. To confirm to the Daily Beast, the two had discussed Young's concerns and were trying to figure this out right now. He said that Young was very upset about the, dis the disinformation, right? No, he's just an old fucking man who's reading CNN bullshit. Yes, I know. I'm using a CNN article, but, you know, that's why it's archived, because fuck CNN. They're not going to get any ad revenue from this shit. Now, I know Joe Rogan has 11 million daily and active listeners. I wonder how many uh, listeners that uh, Neil Young has here. Six million monthly listeners. So he's got six million monthly listeners, and I know that number's dropping, you know, by the day because his demographic is dropping like flies, especially because COVID's around. Am I right, old man? Now, Joe Rogan, on the other hand, like I said, his average listening audience is anywhere from the age of 18 to 45. Okay, that's a very large demographic. It's also a very young demographic compared to Neil Young's demographic here. So if Spotify actually were to choose, they're already contracted to give Joe Rogan $10 million every year for the next 10 years, right? Totaling the $100 million contract. So, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very difficult to get out of that. It's be very large, you know, payout to, 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 to ax that contract early. Uh, Neil Young, on the other hand, like I said, um, he has only got 6 million monthly listeners and that's going to start dropping a little by little. I mean, look, his top five popular songs, so 235 million, 759,000, 163 million, 133 million. So not too bad, right? But, you know, 6 million monthly listeners. So it's the same people listening over and over again. Now let's look at Metallica. I know they've just celebrated their 40th anniversary, so they're still relevant, but I mean, 40 years. Like, we got Enter Sandman at 793,258,869. And then Sanders, and then nothing else matters at 700 million. <laughs> and I look, I know that's not a fair comparison, right? Let's, let's, let's. We got 17 million monthly listeners from Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this band's been around for 40 years. Look, I know, that's not a fair comparison. Like, but Mad Pack, that's fucking Metallica. That's not fair. I mean, it's not like I didn't go to a Metallica concert in 2019 and see old fucking men with gray fucking hair not able to fucking hold their shit in their pants. Fine. We'll look at Rage Against the Machine. Let's, get, let's look at those fucking communists and compare these communists to that communist. Oh, look at that. Killing in the name of almost half a billion plays. Look at that. Well, well, well. Hmm. Again, the old man is not relevant. Even garbage like Rage Against the Machines and old ass shit like Metallica is still fucking relevant compared to Neil Young. All right, fine. Let's look at Lady Gaga. How many, how many monthly listeners does Lady Gaga have? 36 million listeners. Fantastic. And, and what's, what's her most popular song right here? Shallow with a billion views. 1 billion point seven billion and then bad romance that did a little a little over half a million i mean geez <laughs> so, look i can literally put up any artist i want look at madonna that old crazy bitch has still got way more monthly listeners than than he does out yet see look and a lot of these acts are older look i know lady gaga's a little newer but you know <laughs> my point is that neil young's audience is dying off and he's actually not getting any more, you know, relevant. See, even though Madonna's been around for a while, see, this generation of kids has everything at their fingertips. And let's be real, acts like Metallica, Madonna, Rage Against the Machine, and Lady Gaga, let's be real, they're all better than Neil Young. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Neil Young is not relevant. 
he has not been relevant for a very long time, okay? He's lucky to have the 6 million listeners a month that he has right now on Spotify. Because like I said, those people are dropping like flies. And if you're really going to offer an ultimatum to Spotify, the choice is clear, okay? Joe Rogan makes them money. Neil Young doesn't. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you like what you see, like what you hear, go and like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Gab, Minds, and Getter. All that in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.